Let's do that. We have Daniel who's calling in from Canada. Daniel, you are live on Truth Wanted. What's up? Yeah, hi, hi, Dan. Um, not much. Just wanted to call in. Uh, I, I heard your show last week, and uh, you were talking about those UFO hearings and stuff, and I wanted to call in then. Yeah, the UFO hearings, a lot of stuff was happening last week in UFO news, uh, and I'm surprised I haven't been mobbed by the UFO people already <laughs> on my takes. But what specifically about the UFO stuff did you want to talk about? Well, um, I, I called you before. Um, I talked about the insectoids on Mars and um, my belief that the government, it, it's true that there's an alien um, reality behind the UFO uh, phenomena. Oh, and yes. I recognize speak. you now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's been so long. Daniel, how yeah. are you doing, my friend? Yes, aliens on Mars. Yeah, man, we had a whole arc yeah. on this show. Oh, man. that's yeah. that. You're taking me back here. Man, you've been watching yeah. this whole time and haven't been calling in? That's crazy. Well, I I, 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 I usually watch afterwards. I'm always watching, I'm not watching live. I'm watching afterwards. So, I, But tonight I'm watching Okay. Live. Well, and for, to I catch up, those... UFO? Yeah, well, I, I want to catch up callers. Daniel, you called in... A, a number of times before with the claim that there are insectoid beings on Mars and that NASA not only knows about this, but it has been covering up this phenomenon. Uh, so you must have some interesting takes about the alien hearings last week, I imagine. Well, that, 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 that rumor has been uh, for the last 30 years that the government has... Um, you know, it goes back to Roswell, uh, that they've had bodies and um, uh, uh, a, a craft. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the guy's telling the truth, but I don't know. He, he didn't really have any evidence, right? He just. Yes. But, but again, I, I agree like, with I you. I think that. Go ahead. Uh, but again, I still think there is a UFO. Uh, there is an alien reality. They, they have to keep it secret. And um, lately, I've been thinking about uh, the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. And um, mm -hmm. have you seen that movie? Remember I have seen that movie. Donna... Yeah, remember the end of the Donna Man sequence when the uh, ape man, after winning the, the battle for the water hole, after he kills his opponents with the bone, he throws the bone in the yeah. air. And then the, yeah. uh, they do a quick cut to the future, to the modern time, and we see uh, an orbiting nuclear weapon satellite going down that comes down at the exact moment, right? To show the transition to modern man, right? Yeah, something like that. I remember there was a monolith yeah. and a giant baby and a bunch of stuff happening there. But yeah, well, the, I think those scenes vaguely yeah, familiar. The, 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 yeah, the monolith appeared earlier, and that's what, it, to me, it was an alien tool, some alien technology that gave the uh, ape man, the ape guy, the uh, idea to use a bone as a weapon to kill for food and then to kill uh, for the water hole. But the thing right. is, so I think the point, the point of that is why we can't be told the truth about the uh, alien reality is because we're still essentially a bunch of savage apes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's, that's okay. So, so are, are the insectoids on Mars more intelligent than we are? Um, no, no, the, the girl's journey, the insectoids on Mars is something that has been observed. Um, it's more than that. It's more than that. Um, they're just uh, what I think on Mars. I think Mars shows evidence of a destroyed civilization, and I think that that used to inhabit. I think there were humanoids and these insectoids lived together on the same planet, but I think something happened to the planet's um, I don't know orbit trajectory or something, mm -hmm. and the environment, the climate changed, and it's become a much rougher climate. And I think the insectoids survived, but I think the humanoids did not survive. And I think maybe they got themselves to Earth because I, there seems to be in the, um, what people have been seeing um, on Mars in the, uh, in the rover uh, footage, when they take away uh, NASA's, uh, the blurring that NASA does routinely on everything, you see that there are structures on Mars and there seems to be destroyed structures. And I think there's That's structures a, on the moon and structures on planets and moons throughout our solar system. You dropped some new lore this really time because I don't. What? I don't think I heard you say before that you think that the insectoids are here on Earth. But you do think no, that? No, I don't think. 
No, 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 no. Insectoids are, are, are clearly on Mars. They're just like a they look oh, okay. like a primitive type being. They just use okay. tools. Like I said, you can see them in that picture. I, I sent you that uh, yeah. Roger in Kansas City a video. Roger found yeah. it. Was me who found them? This is this and, is a uh, while back. We're we're going back to some truth wanted floor yeah. here. Let me let me let me try to just steer the conversation here a little bit, Danny, if you don't mind. But I okay. I, I want to point yeah. out something that I agree with you on. Uh, surprisingly mm -hmm. enough, is that. Yeah. Um, and, and other people in the skeptic community, I think, don't realize this or, 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 or have other thoughts. I, I actually completely 100 percent agree with the idea that if the American government had evidence of alien life, they would keep that shit to themselves, especially if it's like has the ability to like contact us and like do stuff with right. us. I, I think that is a national defense emergency at that point. I think that they would want to keep that locked up. Because they don't want the aliens to get access to our nukes or whatever. Like they, they, you know, there's a lot of secrets that come into that. And plus, how we might know of that may reveal other information that other countries don't know about. Like, oh yeah, we found that, figured this out because yeah. we have this satellite that's been monitoring China this whole time or something, right? Like, you know, there's there's probably right. national defense interests at play. Here's where I disagree, though. I just don't think that the evidence supports that we have found any life that we know that's available to the public. Now, David Grush, it was like, oh yeah, man, we got all this evidence here <laughs> with, you know, uh, we, we were mm -hmm. taking bodies and stuff and we know about this as Roswell. Okay. David Grush can say that all day long, but as you and I, I think both come to the same conclusion, he didn't present that last week. So he has yet to really demonstrate any of that. He's just saying stuff at this point, right? If we were right. to come to the conclusion that there are aliens out there and they are doing stuff. It has to be made of stronger stuff than I think what I've seen so far. And unfortunately that does include the blurry Mars pictures that we talked about earlier, but, but that is my take on the situation. What do you think? Um, yeah, but I think it's more than that, that they, they can't mm. tell us because it's like the prime directive in Star Trek. You can't, um, mm. when you, uh, when you mess around, when you have a superior technology, when you have advanced technology, and you start sharing it with primitive uh, societies, like I said, what if they what if they had technology that could give us some like it could power our home, and it was the size of a, a bread box or something. But at the same time, if you had a little mechanical skills, you could turn it into an atomic bomb or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they, we can't be trusted with this uh, with the technology. We're we're a bunch of I, ac I actually wrote a story very along these lines in the 1970s. Um, with climate change as being the the factor that caused uh, life to shift from planet to planet, although I had climate change yeah. backwards, I had the planets cooling rather than than getting hotter, and uh, discovery of life on Mars and eventual colonization of Venus as as, as Earth became too cool to sustain life anymore. Um, but I then decided that it was the whole idea was stupid, and I threw it away. Um, well, I mean, you see, there is this idea to uh, of the cosmic zoo, right? It's this I, the zoo hypothesis. It is this idea yeah. of look, other aliens know that we exist, and it's like, well, they but they don't want to touch us because we're just like animals at the zoo. Uh, you know, you're not gonna mess with a lion at a zoo and go in its enclosure because you might get screwed over, right? Doesn't matter that right. the you're smarter than the lion is that the lion will still mess you up because it's a lion and that's what lions do right so that there's kind of this idea that humans will just we'll just fuck up anything that we see right and we'll just as soon as we see a gray we're like mr president press press the button we're launching that nuke into space and we're killing those aliens to liberate them for america and steal their oil like that's what they would be like so so yeah i think i think there is there is something to that effect that could be the reason why, but again, that also conflicts with like David Grush's idea that we've actually been just hanging out with aliens or just like in contact with them and stuff because that seems to go against it. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that means, you know, it's the bug people out there that are doing stuff or there are just some forces out there that are interdimensional and don't want to mess with us. Who knows? But I, I just can't think that anything we've seen so far can demonstrate uh, demonstrate that we know for sure about any of that uh, including the bug people thing sorry daniel but that that is my take yeah yeah but i mean the bug people all i would say, all I think those are just something i've seen on mars they just seem to be part of what i think exists on mars 
but I think there's a bigger picture here that I think what we have, what, what, what happened in the year 2000, like I've been following ufology since about the 1980s when I saw, when I first saw Whitley Strieber on Johnny Carson, that's what got me into it. And every decade, there's always been something like the abduction phenomenon changed where it stopped being just simple abductions to the, the abductees started to realize that they've been abducted their whole life. Like they're being a tracked animal, like the way we track animals and we, monitor them mm-hmm. throughout their whole life. And, um, and then, but I also, um, but then in the 2000s, these anomaly channels started coming up on YouTube where people were looking at NASA pictures, NASA and JPL and uh, all the countries like whatever, Britain, India, China, Russia, all these satellite pictures from the planets. And what they're noticing is that the ground, the, the surface is always blurry. And if they if they, they deblur that surface, like I said, if they use Photoshop to take away to see what's under the blurring, there seems to be structures on all sorts of planets and moons throughout their solar system. And what I think it's a sign of is that planet uh, civilizations come to a point where either you advance and you keep keep getting technology advanced, and you get to a point where you're so amazingly advanced that your star, your sun when it's time to explode, you're able to leave your planet because your, your technology is so advanced that you can go and ha- inhabit any planet, any moon, and just live inside it. And that's what I think is happening in our planets. And I think they came to our solar system, and I think they found Earth, and I think they turned out into a little uh, like zoo or they started our life, and, and they've been monitoring us for eons. They've just I think yeah. they're part of our... Uh, 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 I think that's another thing why they keep it secret because they're part of our um, our beginnings and what uh, I get you. I, I get you. Yeah. I, I think that's if that's true, that that's cool. You know what I mean? Like big if true, yeah. right? That, that that's how I feel about it. Okay, sure. But people on Mars and they've been watching us this whole time. I hope you're right. Uh, low key, that would Look make you know maybe that would explain some things. But like I don't know, it has to be more than just allegedly de-blurring pictures from NASA and other space agencies on the surface of Mars to convince me of that. I mean, the stuff I've seen so far, again, it's just, I don't know if that's if that's the route, right? Maybe if we got like, yeah. I don't know, a, a testimony from the bug people, uh, a little video, maybe if they sound like a golden record, like 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 uh, Sagan yeah. did in the 70s, or, you know, and then A YouTube guys. channel. Yeah, our YouTube channel, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, you know? Uh, like I said, the bug people, they seem to be just primitive beings. They seem to be like a civilization that they just look like primitive beings who live underground on Mars. And and what we're catching is them come up to the surface, and they seem to want something from the surface. They they, they seem to have tools that goes into the surface. And I, I, think it's, I think it's water or something. I've heard that there's water in Martian soil or whatever. And I realize the environment is pretty harsh. Because someone called, I remember when I talked about this with you, someone called after me and said, and, criti- and, and shit it all over me, and said, oh, and six couldn't possibly survive on Mars because it's so cold. And I'm thinking, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know their physiology, and just look at our deepest oceans. Go to the deepest part of our ocean, you'll find life down there. Like, life can exist, I think, anywhere, practically, if you've got I some- guess, but... It's also contingent on like an atmosphere and stuff, which I know Mars does have a very thin atmosphere, but like it doesn't, yeah, yeah. it's not made of the same but, materials, right? So, but, but if you are, you, you, you inhabit like a moon or a planet and you live inside it, you make your own atmosphere. Maybe you, know I mean? you live inside that's, it, you live that's underground. That's like a Jules Verne journey to the center of the earth kind of scenario, right? I don't know. Yeah, but, but on planets, Verne, right? planets and moons. Planets and moons. Throughout well, our, if, throughout our if he's right, if he's right, that totally destroys um, intelligent design. I, that's true. That's true. Uh, listen, Dan. I, I'm uh, unfortunately we're we're kind of at the end of the show here, so I do have to let you go. But uh, I'll good. say two things. One, I'm so glad you called back. Uh, it's been a minute since I talked to you about it. Uh, and two, you you've been the nicest bug person believing call or a person that I've ever had the chance of ever talking to about any of this stuff. And you know what? There's something about that that just really makes me glad I do this show every week, Daniel, because you know what? I have mm-hmm. I have completely different convictions than you do about a particular yeah. topic. But I'm really glad we could have a call and talk about it. And for you to continue to come back, even though people do, you know, people are nasty online and say mean things. Yeah. Personally, I, 
I yeah. enjoy it for what it is. So yeah, um, I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm just I'm just here to tell the truth, Dan. I just think this is the truth. And I, I hear you. Um, that's, that's what we're here for. Truth wanted. That's right, baby. Truth wanted. Yeah, it was, well, it was nice talking to both of you. You nice too. Nice talking to Thank you, you too, Daniel. You have a great rest of your day.